Let's Go Podcast. You have myself, Tim Fisher. Or should I start over? Are you recording? Yes. I, yeah, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm yeah. in it, dude. We <laughs> out here, bro. We All out right. here. You have myself, Tim Fisher. Yes, sir. Jordan Jimmyola, how you doing? Evan Nelson. And we have the new freaking Sam K. Hey, yo, the so Right, be careful. Remember, don't, don't scream too loud in the mics because you can peek them. Oh, oh, sorry. Bad. Boy, oh, guys. It's it. been a month. Pull I know. Jeez. It. Pull, pull it. Uh, pull it back. So everybody knows we took a month off. We are back, and we are in our new studio that still has a few touches that need to come in. Um, but how, what do you guys think of the studio? It's, it's amazing. Awesome. Toke? So yeah. stoked. Absolutely yeah. stoked. Well, I mean, we got the sneak peek on the pictures and stuff, but in real life, this came out great. The lighting's dope. The layout's sick. The uh, the posters and the configurations that we're going to have would be awesome. That's and right. I think my favorite part already is going to be the, the cool Sam shit cam. on the wall. <laughs> oh, and the Sam <laughs> cam. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. It goes hand in hand, though, because on the Sam cam will be the uh, the wall swag. The wall swag. Right. Yep. Yep. So no, I love it. Honestly, I love I love how open it is. I love how bright it is. Um, honestly, man. Yeah, Tim. Dude, you put in some fucking work. Yeah, this was... <laughs> It was a work, lot, bro. Was, uh, to say the least. Yeah, let's say I had maybe like two weeks off, and then it was two weeks of working on this and getting new cables run. But good cables. You have a new XLR, so you're not going to skip anymore when you touch it. Hey. I wasn't hey. even touching it. I, I just I don't touch <laughs> it. I was like, don't do it. Keep don't your hands it. off, Jordy. Keep it off. <laughs> yep. People know like we hot were, potato. This dude, shit. That thing's <laughs> hanging on by a wing and a prayer, dude. <laughs> hey, but uh, well, no, that's good because I do end up touching. You know what the mic. cool part is too? Like I can actually touch you now, like Tim. Yeah, we used to sit so far away from each other. I yeah. know. It was weird. That was the first thing when he sat down. I was like, this is a different <laughs> angle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I like it. Woo! Now I just can't like totally stare right into his eyes and not laugh sometimes. <laughs> and we're like, and we've had keep some it together. Yeah, we're just <laughs> looking at each other. Now I'm just going to look straight ahead at the camera <laughs> and try not to laugh. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, is, it is weird not sitting in the middle because usually I was the one sitting in the yeah, middle. So right. Now I get like this. Yep. And I'm like, all right, cool. I get to just... I don't have to turn it's different back and forth. Right? Yeah. 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 Sam, yeah. how does it feel to be on camera now, dude? Everyone's heard you for two and a half years. Yes. And we got the freaking Sam cam. Well, they have Sam seen me. If they've seen the reviews. That's true. Uh, hey, okay. Yo. So, however, it, it is pretty dope, man, because I got my own camera. Yeah. You know? Now, this is dope. Because I got my own table, too, bro. Dude, you're, is that is the computer in the shot? Is the computer bad? is not in the shot, We're and it's not bad. Only person is me. You look beautiful, My dude. beautiful self. Wow. I love it. I can't wait till we get that uh, bookshelf filled up oh, back. It's going to be dope, bro. Yeah. It's going to be super sick. Yeah, man. Hell yeah. yeah. But anyways, guys, welcome back. It's good to be back. I hope you had uh, a good Christmas with your families. And also, so everybody knows, um, the co-host and co-founder of this podcast had his social media hijacked. It is not him on there. Mm-hmm. It's a young lady. But he did gain 800 followers. <laughs> That's and, a fact. And the link to our podcast is still on there. I mean, in all all silly silliness aside, I'm very upset at this whole situation. So I don't it want, would I do not want to downplay this. <clears throat> However, they left <laughs> they left our feed to the, the podcast up there. And like there's a Snapchat thing on there. So I'm like, I'm sure was she like an OnlyFans chick or something like that? Probably. Probably not. It's probably some dude just, you know, dude. trying to scam. But <laughs> either way, if he could generate some followers, thank you. Hey, any, any you publicity know? is good publicity, right? Yeah. yeah. Right. Didn't Rob Lowe say that or something like that? I think that was like Rob Lowe? I think Rob Lowe, because he had yeah. He might have. I feel like was, I've heard that a couple times. A like, B actor said that? Yeah. <laughs> hey, and he, <laughs> Rob, Wait, wait, hey. Rob hey, hey. a ton of shit, though. He is an And he's show. like the he's face also, of Atkins. He's so, yeah, that's yeah. a commercial. He's like, what I like to do, <laughs> if I'm getting a sugar craving, <laughs> like, hey. I just grab an Atkins bar. I mean, it's peanut butter and chocolate, my favorite thing. Bro, I was like, laying this down motherfucker, the, dude, is on steroids. I was Get laying down the other day at night. It was, it was probably like 11 o'clock at night. Yeah. And that Atkins came on, and I remember thinking... Rob Lowe? Like, are you hurting for money that you're doing an Atkins commercial? Right. Uh, whatever. Maybe. Uh, I bet he makes a lot of money from those. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. Think so too. Like the face. You know what Atkins. we got to do because we can do this now? Sam, what do you think? Sam Cam. Sam Cam. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> He's not used to it. Yeah, dude. Not used to it at all. What do you think? Rob Lowe doing Atkins. I think it's pretty crazy, man. But, you know, his face is just, it's random, I think, on Atkins. It's like, oh, okay. That's what I thought. Like, does it not seem like a person who might not need to do it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, he's been generally, like, he's kind of the pretty boy cast type. <laughs> Every he's the same, and he's, like, in his late 50s, I think. Right. He looks great. You know what? But Maybe. it's not because of Atkins. Yeah. No, you know what? False advertisement, dude. You know what? You know what? It's probably the 
it's just like, wow, he's like, he's a good looking guy. And everything is like, well, if he supports Atkins, then maybe I should go on Atkins oh, because I, there are, there are going to be those people that are going to be like, yeah, maybe I should. Like Rob Lowe does it. Yeah. He was great in Tommy yeah. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most recent Sam, thing. Sam, Rob, Rob Lowe or Brad Pitt? Rob Lowe. Definitely. Really? Let's just stick with Rob Lowe. Who you'd rather sleep with? Um, I mean, um, I'm so, just kidding. I mean, What's up, Brad? Hey. Hey. We're going to go for the novelty. It's probably Brad right. Pitt. There you go. Right, right. <laughs> hey, man, Woo. it's the first one of the year. We got to have back. a fun yeah, opener. we're back. All right. We're going to go back to Sam. Sam, we're doing our January monthly review. Where are we starting off? Let's start off with uh, Tyree Nichols, guys. Woo. That's a deep one. And uh, I love how Jordan picked this one to just jump right into. I know, dude. You want to go heavy? Yeah, man. Whoa, whoa. Hey, first of all, <laughs> I did not say use this as the opener. Yeah. I said, <laughs> I said, I said we can get to this, but this, this is a lot behind this. So uh, anyway, yeah. I think it'd be good to start off with. Good. Just jump right into. Well, it's yeah. a, it's a yeah. big thing happening in the country. Exactly. Right. right? There's yeah. a lot going on. Yeah. And there's there's a lot of I don't want to say I don't know if it's riots, protests either or happening in major cities right now. So I think it is something to talk about because what I find interesting is that they were not Caucasian cops. Right. They're yeah. actually African-American cops that did this. Mm -hmm. oh. So that kind of changed. It changes things. I want to still change things, but usually what we've been seeing is it's the white Caucasian male police officer who's committing these type of offenses that is a sworn in police officer. Right. Right. Beating down somebody who is of color. Mm -hmm. But now you have five African-American men who did it. Yeah, and they've all been relieved of duty. Oh yeah, oh, quick too. Very, quick. very quick. Yeah. Have you guys seen the video? Yeah, it's yeah. bad. Yeah, I watched. I watched all the body cam footage and uh, so what and this and I and not, oh sorry. No, no, no. Go ahead. I don't want to. Hear it, but I'm thinking, what is? I haven't watched it because honestly, I don't want to look at that stuff anymore because mm. I'm just trying to stay in like this positive mindset. I'm like, don't watch it. Yeah. 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 I'm like, I'm like, it's not positive it. so, at all. So is it because so, the was was he uh, surrendering? So the so Tyree Nichols so the, I mean if everyone hasn't heard Tyree Nichols was pulled over uh, the initial part of the report was that he was pulled over for swerving during the uh, part of him getting pulled over he was told to get out of the car and then it was like physical altercation basically from that point moving forward it reached a point to where he had fled and he got away for a minute. And then was found when multiple officers during the arrest basically pulverized this poor kid. Mm -hmm. And he ended up dying three days later at the hospital. So that's the story, right? The what, the how, all that stuff. I think, you know, just like any of these type of situations, we don't get a lot of intel publicly, right? Or you do maybe not know why the reason of the arrest or what started before the event, all this kind of stuff. And I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. When I first heard it, I was like, damn, that's crazy. Five, five black cops beat in this, what happened with a, you know, Tyree Nichols who happens to also be black. And I was like, I wonder how this, cause this doesn't really happen publicly like that, or at least promote it in this way. Now this is a crazy situation. So I was kind of thinking, I'm like, God, I wonder what happened. I didn't know anything about Tyree Nichols. I was like, was he on drugs? Did he have a gun? Was he running around? Did he shoot somebody? Was there anything that would make you think that this might have some justification? And I, a lot of times like to get into that because I don't dismiss just a bad action deserves something bad or a bad action is obviously something. You know what I mean? I like to like do a little research and see what I could find about it. And in this case, I spent a lot of time, well, not a lot of time, but more than I would have think that I would have done watching the body cam footage and everything. This kid, when he was talking, did not sound under the influence. In my opinion, you know, I mean, this is just our opinions, is it? Yeah, right. no, I'm not saying that, the, the, I'm not saying that they're wrong. Maybe for the, starting of pulling someone over, but definitely like, I'm going to say they're fucking wrong in the process. hundred million percent. Mm -hmm. I mean, dude, this poor kid was like, they had him in cuffs. Like it, it was, it's over at that point and just got pummeled like wow. repeatedly and then, like stood up off the ground and being held by one officer in the back while the other officer haymakers this dude in the face. Yeah. Kid had a crazy chin because he kept his fucking feet under him and he took a handful of them. And then he got on the ground and multiple officers started beating his ass. And it was like, and then you, you saw the the fire department came in and it was like, 
this kid's like laying up against the car, bloodied up pretty good. And like, there's this like weird exchange of like, are we supposed to take him? Do you want to take him to jail or whatever? And it's like, Crazy. you're like, what the hell is going on on that call? You know what I mean? Like, that's nuts. Like, even, it, it, and honestly, those, the, the fire side potentially has some problems they're going to face too. Well, they fired two of them already. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. oh they wow. had. Okay. Because yeah, I was like, I'm like you're on video not rendering <laughs> aid to, right. let's say if, Tyree Nichols was dangerous. If he was dangerous, he's already subdued at this point. The right. scene is safe. You're cleared to enter. You get to go in and you do your medical side of it now without even having judgment of what the situation is, right? So it's like at that point, you even had people like kind of failing to jump in there. And you're like, dude, that's, that's fucking bizarre because these – the. There's five officers. Then in the majority of the videos are showing five officers just pummeling, beating the yeah. shit out of this guy. Wow. Those five guys were fighting this person like they all found out that Nichols like raped one of their daughters or something. Right. Like right. that's how they're pursuing this guy. It, and like, and it wasn't like one guy was like, "Look, Phil, like Bob, chill, man. Like he's no, they're he's all, down. They're Everyone's all like, in it. fuck yeah. this guy. Yeah. You know, it's expletive, 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 yeah. hitting yeah. this kid. And it was like. To, like from my personal like point of view, I was thinking I'm like, dude, this is crazy. Yeah. Like this looked like a, <laughs> like if you were getting jumped in a gang or something. Yeah. Right. You know what That's I what mean? That's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, sorry, that was a long little rant there, but uh, it was it was it was super sad, and I don't know anything about this person. I yeah. don't know if he's a great person. I don't know if he's a terrible person. You know, I don't have a rap sheet. I don't what whatever. But all I know is that whatever that was, swerving in your car. And I mean, like, unless you swerved into a school and then you came back out, it's not going to warrant, like, an aggressive type approach on this. And that was what was, I, in my opinion, I thought that was super bizarre. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, you know, this kid lost his life, dude. Yeah. Like, you yeah. Know, straight up. Oh, man. It makes you wonder what the thought process was with these five guys because they knew they had body cameras on. Yeah. You know, uh, I mean... Right? <laughs> uh, and, you know, the state of, our, our, of what our country is kind of in right now. You know, they know that people are definitely against the police and you're going to go out and do that to a person who is unarmed, who has, who's cuffed and you're taking, you're telling me that he's being held and being punched in the face, man, look, I'm all about our public servants, yeah. our military, our fire and our, our police, but wrong is wrong, dude. Yeah. I mean, come on. That's just blatant. And then the kid dies mm. for, for what? For swerving? Yep. Yeah. What a waste. What a, not just a waste of that kid's lives. What about the lives are, are affected by his family. Mm -hmm. And then what about the lives of the officers? Because they're done. Yeah. Now they're, their lives are ruined. Their family. You do, the, those, those, the guys effect. To, those guys might be going to jail. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, oh, they're dead. Oh, yeah. I mean, you they can't no, tell they, they're not, dude. Like, listen, like, Derek Chauvin went to jail for neglect, right? Right. I mean, he wasn't beating the shit out of George Floyd. George Floyd, at a point, stopped breathing. This fool failed to even look like one he cared or two recognized the potential issue. Right. And that guy went to jail for is I mean, yeah. did he get a life sentence? Uh, or twenty, thirty years yeah. or something. He got a, a very long a, life a long sentence. Yeah. Right. These guys beat the fuck out of this kid. Yeah. And he's he died from it. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I I don't know. I I I almost feel I mean I just I don't know. I feel bad for the family. I feel bad for uh the 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 society there right right and because of those things we were just talking about it's like the police department like to half the population more than you know or at least half right has a negative connotation sometimes when it comes to cops exactly. not sometimes a lot of times especially right? like with traffic stops too yeah, yeah you know and it's like look uh, and again I'm, this is in no way shape or form a defense to the effect of what happened every single person that does something fucked up 100% right. has to have accountability for their own actions and they need to be terminated or yeah. put in jail or do what, whatever the appropriate like means of handling it not just shoo shooing things under the rug right yeah there's consequences to actions yeah dude and these i mean i <laughs> It's very interesting to see this, right? Because of the dynamic of the scenario, mm -hmm. right? So it's like, like today, and I think it was in LA. They had like, um, they had a BLM uh, protest, but it was like two, three hundred people. So it wasn't like a, a ginormous, ginormous protest. Yeah. But when I saw that, I was like, oh man, what? <laughs> How curious? Right. Where's the representation of Black Lives Matter within this? Obviously, the the. Tyree Nichols that passed away. Right. But it's like, okay, 
Now, what's the skew on the police there? Yeah. Right. It's like, OK, well, I mean, if you yesterday CNN put something out saying that like five, you know, five officers, five black officers beat Tyree Nichols, a black young man to death. Right. Is it or is it even though that it said this event was fuel, like fueled in racism. And I was like, that's a stretch. Right. Maybe. And they're trying to. But like, is it a stretch? You know, but yeah. well, that's what I'm saying. Like, is it racism because we're saying cops are racist just in general? Or are we saying it because you know the the history of that and the connection with the community or what you know what I mean? Like and I it's think like maybe yeah, I like that with right. the, the second one. Well, you know, like the history of cops. Sorry, no, it's okay. Cops yeah. versus it's almost like it's cops versus black people. You know, and and something that I that I took from that video was, um, I mean, I don't know if you guys you know know this from I don't know maybe having friends, but they beat him like black parents beat their kids. And I saw that and I was like, Jesus Christ. It's not like, they don't, I'm not saying literally, but yeah, like, yeah, no. you know, parents wail, you know? And it's like, you mother, and they were even screaming like that. Yeah. And it, it was like, it was something personal done to them. Like he like did, like you said, to their daughter, like he raped their daughter, right. you know? And instantly I was like, what? Like, is it, what, why? You know? But one thing that I do have, that's a probably an unpopular opinion is I was raised on, on just being accountable for what I do, mm -hmm. especially as a black, as a black man, as a black man, you know, not, I mean, it's, I, you can go so many different ways with gender, you know, and being black and whatever, but with, uh, my dad taught me, you know, he's been here. He was, uh, he came over from uh, Nigeria. Right. And in his twenties, he learned, he was like, America is different, you know, like, there's black people and there's racism and there's, there's cops beating. I mean, he was right there with the, with the riots in the, in the, in the nineties. Oh, know? in LA. Oh yeah. Oh. My dad lived in LA. Oh, yeah, dude. man. So he knew all about that, yeah. you know? So he would tell me all the time, don't go outside. Uh, cause I used to, I used to, I used to run, you know, Tim, you run a lot. I used to run at yeah. night. He'd say, don't go out at night. Don't go out at night after, after, after nine, wear a shirt. When you go outside, when cops stop you, make sure you speak to them, let the, you know, talk to, you know, just, just give, uh, whatever, you know, entertain them. Right. Well, know? right. Cause you don't want to, you don't want a stereo, like, like for someone to presume something. Right. 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 From a cop's point. Of, and I, I, I get what you're saying. Probably. Right. Yeah. You know, so it's, it's like, what I, man, what sucked, and I thought about it, and I talked about it, you know, with with a couple of friends, and I was like, wow, I can't believe I'm thinking this, but uh, I hate, I hate when black people die, when people die, and then when a black person dies at a traffic stop, I hate that, and my mind, because of the way I was raised, goes to what type of accountability did he have, or did he play in this situation? Oh, you know, like what happened yeah. from his perspective? You know, what could he have done to be alive today? You know, because it, re I, 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 bro, it hurts, yeah. you know? And I see that, I'm like, another one? Really? You know, like, fuck the cops, but another one? Yeah, you know? Yeah. So it's just a weird, like, way of thinking and a weird, uh, um, I guess, perspective. Well, it's, it's your perspective. Right. right, it's right. You, It's how you grew up, or how you know, like you said. We all have look, not we. You can't say you know it's like to be me. I can't say I know it's like right. to be you. And we all point each other fingers and don't know that to all of us, right? Right. Mm -hmm. But how we grow up, whatever our social influences, whatever our family influences is, a lot of you know. You said like your dad, you know, hey, giving you these things. I know my parents. They always told me like certain things, like. Even with the police, which is actually like, you know what I mean? Like, right. you want to call what it is and be like, oh, what do you have to worry about with that? And it was always like, no, I knew at 16 years old, if I got pulled over, windows down, lights on, hand on the steering wheel, how you doing, sir? You know what I mean? Exactly. Like, just because like I'm eliminating any potential for this person to think that I'm shady or whatever. Now, that interpretation, depending on who you ask, may or may not think, what do you have to worry about? Or, okay, that makes sense. Well, hold on. I'm going to stop you, dude. Fuck that. No, regardless of race, bro. No, I yeah. don't I don't agree with that. That's yeah, what right. I'm saying. I was like, yeah. I think people think, I hate that. Yeah. people think that, though, right? So and that's what I think is crazy because it's, like, again, but I also think that that's probably what makes you and I different from a lot of people. Right, right. It's not, not just, uh, I mean, everyone's sitting at the table, is that is that your reflection, your accountability, everything that you do as an individual, you hold to yourself. 
myself, not in because it's because I'm a white guy or because I'm a black guy or whatever. It's because I'm Jordan, you're Sam, you're Evan, you're Tim, mm -hmm. right? And that's just how we operate. Right. You know, the bummer part is a lot of people don't think that way, mm -hmm. right. you know, but yeah. going back with this, with this whole deal, it's like, I look at the end of the day. I hope these guys get oh, yeah. fucking yeah. whatever is coming to them in an aggressive way, and uh -huh. I hope that the I hope it doesn't become this like kind of third party racism type push, which it, I'm sure it will. But it's like okay, well, Memphis is a, has a large black population. The police chief there is a black female. Is like the majority of the department is African American. All this stuff, and I'm not. It doesn't matter that right. these are these things. It's just that it's like, let's hold these fucking people accountable for a shitty action mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, the rest of the police force, the ones that are out there trying to impact the community in a positive way, all just one. took 18 steps backwards. Yep. yep. You know what I mean? And now when they're going out to do a traffic shop, you're telling me that not everyone's just going to be a little bit more oh, yeah. fucking nervous Cautious. because yes. people yep. are going to be aggressive. Yep. Yeah. You know, and it's just, and that's, that's just, that's life. You know what I mean? And, and understandably so, especially for the people in that city. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it, you're thinking, what, dude, what are you going to do? You're going to fucking shoot me too. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. or you're going right. to beat my ass. It's like, not, you shouldn't be, I'm not saying to act that way, but like, I can understand that response, Right. Mm -hmm. you know? And it's just like, I mean, look, two months ago, two traffic cops in Riverside County got shot pulling yes. someone over. Right. Two guys died. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So, and one African American and one Hispanic American. I, I don't know if he's from Mexico or South American or not, so I apologize. But I'm just saying that, like, those things happen, and then they're they're gone. You know, that's not as extreme. It wasn't like they got out and beat them and put on the show of violence. Right. They just got shot. They died. You know what I mean? But either way, you have another family member that doesn't come home to their family, to their parents, to our loved ones or whatever. Mm -hmm. They're gone, right? So it's like, I don't, it's like this whole thing is all lumped together. Yep. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, yeah, the co like aggressive cops that are outstep their power, their boundaries, they're forceful. Fuck those guys. Mm -hmm. Just like people who disrespect the cops and then go out of their way to fucking put someone else in danger, yep. fuck you too. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? It's like it's like we got a both way problem with a lot of these scenarios, and it's just I don't know what the right answer is. But I tell you what, I I, I know it's gonna be the same shit, dude. It's gonna be defund cops. We need to reevaluate all the stuff. Which again, it's like reevaluate the shit out of it, man. Yeah. Make it better for sure. Right. Yeah. But like making less. I don't think it necessarily is the right direction, but yeah. that's my personal opinion. It's a tough Most situation, time. dude, because again, it's now you have it involves the the police, but it's also they're African American. You know, you're just yeah. kind of like, "Fuck, dude, what happened?" Yeah. Like that, you're. I want to say like, "Yo," because I'm I'm mixed, man. Uh, mom's black, dad's white, but it's like, who, uh, <laughs> who, what, like. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's so into it. I'm like, hey. Sorry, hey. this is a compelling bad, conversation. I was looking right at you, Sam. Yeah, I, I was like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that's what I thought. Yeah. I was like, Sam is so into this right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but what, what I'm getting at is I think it's so terrible. With, like, I, I hate black on black crime. That's where I get freaking pissed sometimes. Yes. I'm like, yes. Look, man, our community is already behind. We're always going to be having to start from so far below everybody else. That's yeah. just, unfortunately, how, reality. I'm going to call it as it is. But now. You're entrusted with a position of authority, and people trust you and put their lives in your hands, and they call you to help, and you're supposed to find, you know, get the criminals, make our community better. But then you're gonna like take down one of our own, and the and the manner that you did, it's like, damn, dude, the guy didn't even have a weapon on him. Yeah, the know, guy. What, what, I want to know what led up to these guys. Exactly. Just that pack yeah. mentality was it something at work? Is there frustrations? Yes. I mean. I don't, you know, there's there's something that led up to this. Yes, yeah. For them to just go off the rails and do that's the first thing I yeah. thought, man. The first thing I thought was like, uh, uh, like I told Jordan, uh, is it is it personal? Like why, you know? Mm -hmm. And then and something real quick. Uh, uh, there was a video that came to mind of uh, I, I think it was it was titled the perfect like stop or whatever. And this dude, he was black, and he was of course this guy was running and he was black, and the dude was in I don't know if he was in a car or or one of those SUVs. But man, he pulled over, slammed that, slammed it in park, and he got out. He was athletic as fuck. He got out, and you just hear him, <laughs> and he tackled the dude, what? and he said, "Don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move." Just let me put the cuffs on. C cuffs, got him, and he, he called it into his radio, and I was like, "Oh my god, that it was smooth. Yeah. Like it, it, he he tackled, it was perfect. Dude didn't get hurt, and he was like, "Don't run, don't run, stay down." 
stay down. And he put his knee in his back and he cuffed him real quick. He said, can you stand up? Can you walk? Are you good? And I was like, dude, yeah. yeah, that's how that's if I was, you know, in that situation or in any type of situation like that, I would make sure regardless if they're black or not. But yes, if yeah. they're black, I'm not you're really sure. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, but I'm going to do what I can to 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 um, de-escalate. Just de-escalate. Yeah. Stop yeah. the situation. I hate to say this, but uh, I think this, the strong reality is, um, unfortunately, you're not going to eradicate this happening in police departments. Yep. You, you know. It'll, there's still going to be issues. There's still going to be there's still going to be people who make mistakes, and there's going to be people who make deliberate mistakes and think they're untouchable. And um, as long as you have humans doing things, there, there's going to be flaws. Right. Yeah. We're not going to be perfect, man. Just like in the fire department, there's a hole firefighters and shitty ones. There's ones who steal. There's one you know who've lied, who've lost their job, and there's probably teachers like that. There's probably yeah. politicians. Fuck yeah, there's probably probably. Like that. I think it's anyway, probably he did kill himself. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no matter what job there is, you're gonna have terrible employees who who make big mistakes and cost the company money. Yep. Right. And in this in, in this, this case, point, you're costing the community and you're costing people lives. Right, you're costing yes. lives, and now there's riot. It's costing more millions from the riots. The crazy part is, I'm gonna go conspiracy on you guys here. Yes. What if we just this start stuff keeps going, and the government says, "Well, our law enforcement's out of control. We need martial law." Possibility. That's, That's a possibility. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I could see that. Happening. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So because look That's at more realistic. Look at everything's been happening in a short amount of time. I mean, if you want to, yeah, I mean, you know, that, that, will, that will meld a lot of conspiracies. Yeah, I, but yeah, that would be a big move to get rid of. Uh, law enforcement would be martial, not martial law. It'd be is martial law when the army takes over. Yeah, it's military takes oh, okay. over. Military uh, takes yeah. over. Yeah. yeah, interesting. And becoming a military state. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because yeah, uh, and I thought about that. I'm like, oh, what, yeah. what, like I don't want to say these guys were told they were paid off. I'm not saying that, but conspiracy theory realm. Tinfoil. A lot of this thing, all of these things have been <laughs> happening, right? The police yeah. have been screwing up a lot. Yep. So what better way for the government to take full control than to say, you know what? Your local police departments can't handle this anymore. The military's got it. Yeah. Actually, be wild. Yeah. Be wild. That will be dependent purely on the sentencing that the cops get for how much I believe that conspiracy. If they all get like five years, then like something like if, they get, if they get under yeah. double digits, then I would say you are probably pretty close. Because <laughs> for, for each of those guys, you said, hey, I'll give you $5 million. You're going to go to jail for five years. Mm-hmm. I can guarantee you that you're going to get out. Yeah, they're probably like, fuck yeah, dude. $5 million? You're a cop in fucking Memphis, dude. That's more money that you're ever going to see in your entire true. career. If they make it out of jail. Well, I That's bet. I, yeah. I mean, those pro- guys, they'd have, they'd have they to put them in special way. pretty, you no. know, they, they'd have they're to, able to fight. At least. They're going to yeah, have to put the big them in dudes. Special. Yeah. They're not going to be in general pop. There's no fucking way. Oh, no, yeah. for sure. Oh, they'd be with like the... <laughs> There's no way they'd be uh, general pop. Dude. and stuff. Yeah. They're, <laughs> no. no, they're, they're going to have to be put in a special wing, almost like the, if I understand, child molesters and people, you know, the weirdos, whatever. Yeah. So... Anyway, I gotta well, I gotta say like uh, but there's one thing that you said, Jordan, about like how um this like how this uh subject is coming up a lot more that it's like it's the magnifying glass on situations like this. But then when um two months ago with the two cops in Riverside that they got kill- shot and killed uh, in that traffic stop, the only thing that I see that's like, again like it's similar things like again like a person is not coming home to their family. And like, again, like both scenarios are like sad. The only difference is that it's like, I guess the scenario of like, again, these cops have a duty to make sure that like they do everything they can to deescalate. Whereas like the, when the cops got killed in Riverside, it's like they signed up to do the job. And like that unfortunately is part of what could possibly happen. Yeah. I guess like the other, it's like, yeah. again, like, again, I'm I not see, saying, see, no, I see where you're coming from yeah. because, it, because the, oh, I'm sorry, keep, you keep going. Oh yeah. No, it's it just like, uh, as far as like, <clears throat> you know, regardless, it's like, you know, this stuff happens again. And like, unfortunately it's, you know, wh- seeing this, it's like, it's, it's becoming way more desensitized. The whole entire situation It's like, Oh, it's happening again. And, all, and then you see the video. It's like, God damn, damn what the fuck like it's not like honestly i'm like how that like especially like with the guy having his handcuffed and they're still beating the shit out of him i like i don't know in what like in what time that that's a good idea to ever do especially if you're the one that you're a cop and that like you literally have 
the world watching you at all times because of everything that's going on and like the climate that's happening right now. Yeah. And so, you know, I think that it's like, you know, it's, it sucks that we're in this climate and that this is happening and that, you know, he shouldn't have lost his life over a traffic stop like that. And that like the way that he got beat, he shouldn't have been beat that way. And that, you know, again, this is the looking in hindsight, of course, but like, you know, obviously things are going to happen again. And all that, but it's like, what do we do from here? I, again, like you, I don't have the answers, but, um, I think what you said was good. Actually de-escalation, bro. They were seeing red, yeah. you know, like they, they, they were, there was something personal there. You know, yeah. like, then I tell you to, you know, I was like, really? Like, what? That what is, does sound like a parent, dude. Uh, yo. yo. Like the, yeah, that does sound like a, like a you know? parent who's lost it. Lost yeah. it. Completely then, lost. Like, they, like, you did something to me personally right, to make right. me beat your ass. And I but, need to continue beating your ass until you understand that you hurt me. So, you know, and then he died. Yeah. And then even, and even then, too, like, that's like, again, like, if that was like a parent and child scenario, it's like, that parents getting locked up because that's child abuse, right? And all. so again, it's like it's just the seeing the abuse and all that. Like and like again, like obviously, it's an abuse from a uh, from a, a point of power and all that. And uh, regardless whether it's like you know a cop beating a black man or even like a parent beating their kid and everything is like I need to drill this into <laughs> your fucking skull. At all. Yeah. You know, but like totally. it's uh, right. again, it just like it doesn't make it right in that. Um, right. Yeah, it's just like again, of course, it's disappointing and it's sad and like you know, seeing the video is just like it's just gruesome. It's just it, again, it's just, it is hard to watch. You know, and I think that oh shit, like I just I think that it's just wrong. But like there's like. Again, de-escalation and like learning how to, you know, like bring yourself down from such high emotions and that like, again, like to be in a position of that, you need to make sure that you are staying even keel. And, yeah. and I, I know that's like easier said than done, but especially in that, in that profession, you need to do that. And I understand that like from a cop's perspective, it's like you're up to here with your stress levels because of like, well, I can get shot today. Or like, I may not never see my family again after this shift and all that. And, you know, like I could understand that, but I don't know. I don't understand like where they had to, like where they got to that level where they were seeing red. Yo, the so, gun and the badge should come with that, bro. Yeah. The gun and the badge should come with, uh, you know, um, uh, ways to, uh, you know, uh, meditate, uh, introspection. Where am I at? You know, leveling myself. Um, yes. You know, uh, closing my eyes and opening them and seeing, finding three different things that I can use to bring my, because of course they're going to be, you guys do it every day, Jordan and Tim. You guys know, you know, this, this, this life. But, we're not the, cops. Uh, you're not. You're not. But you guys, you, <laughs> you guys clear that up for yeah, everybody. Yeah, you're not, not cops. Not please, officers. You're not cops. You're hey, not. man, we ain't no popo. You, you ain't homers. no popo. popo. Y'all ain't no popo. I'm a hoe, but ain't no popo. No. <laughs> but y'all, y'all save lives, man. You know. So like, you guys gotta gotta you gotta learn how to or not learn, but you have to understand how to deescalate. You know. Um. So yeah. yes, Evan, what you were saying is yeah. Yeah, and I think that's the. Uh, I think that's a. Um, that is not something that has gone unnoticed. I think with those, de with like the police department, like there is a lot of emphasis on therapy and things like that moving forward. Um, it's just I'm sure it's not abundant, right? You know, but I know there is things that there, you know, especially a lot with therapy, really, mm -hmm. for officers. I mean, we had I, oh my gosh, I forgot her name. I'm so sorry. Um, Kim Kardashian. Yep. <laughs> Kim Kardashian came on the podcast. Yeah. 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 Hey, crazy. I ain't got to see it. Kim, dude. fucking repost us. <laughs> Jeez. Damn. Rude, huh? Kanye, I get it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, but no, um, but what I'm going with is that, right, these are all processes of trying to make the police work a more safe, insane type of job in a un like an insane type of chaos. Right. You know, dude, not every day you're getting in a shootout. That's just how it is. Right. This is like with the fire like fire department, not every day you're running fires. It is what right. it is. Right. There's a lot of ancillary pieces of things that you do day in, day out. Mm -hmm. Right? So I'm not making excuses for this at all. Right. Because it's just the reality of it. I can't stay here. And if I had to de-escalate a situation, I'm hoping that I can, you know, or if right. I have a weapon to defend myself, uh, you know, you, you hopefully you have the training, you have the wherewithal, and you're within your legal rights before you pull that trigger, really, honestly, yeah. right? But I don't know what that's like. 
Yeah. You know, and I and I I can say from my perspective of public service is that a lot of times there are just some crazy 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 situations and they get out of hand. So that's why it's like when I watch a lot of these things, I have my perspectives on a lot of these sometimes aren't just, oh, this is terrible. I'm like, well, this happened. This looked reasonable. That guy, you know, he hit the cop in the face. This is this, this is this, this is this. Not warranting death in any way. Right. But if someone gets tuned up, it's like, okay, they, they had to subdue this person. But when you have blatant disregard and like, you, like, like Sam, like you said, you're seeing red. You know, this wasn't like a fight, like, oh, we're going to, you know, I got a couple licks and I got him down, but you know, I did what you had to do to get him there. It's like these guys wanted to prove a point, it seemed like. Right. Which is like, Tim, the conspiracy side of it is my brain immediately went there. Yeah. Because oh, I was like, you're not conspiratorial, like it's this huge, like, big picture type thing. I just went like, dude. Did this guy like bang all their wives at the same time? <laughs> you know what I, I mean? Know. Because well, that's, so that's what it looked like. You'd right. be like, right. "Did it happen to you?" And then like it's like they all hit each other up on the radio. They're like, "We got him," <laughs> you know. And they all just showed up because he was tooling I mean, their wives true. like while they're at work or something. Exactly, bro. That, yep. That's how I yep. vision this type of this type of thing. But like it, you know, I, I'm a, my assumption is that that is incorrect completely. So that. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, anyway, I just it was it was a it was kind of a, it was just a crazy crazy Woo. event. I feel terrible for the family. I feel terrible for the other police officers that work with those individuals because now they're going to be defending themselves constantly right. about it, not being a piece of shit cop, and you actually are trying to help the community. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like it's fucked from every angle. The yeah. ripple effect you know? from this is going to reach very deep. It's going to take a long time for the community to heal, um, and it's just going to be a Bad situation for our law enforcement. I support law enforcement, but I still think they're shitty cops. Yeah, yeah I've I've experienced it. Yeah, dude, and I'm I'm not, I'm <laughs> I mean, not saying I've experienced a hand. Yeah, well, it's like, ridiculous. I, yeah, yeah, I've interacted so. with some real assholes. Oh, I'll say that to the yeah. least. Oh hell yeah! But I also think like not but I don't want to say but and also I think that like oh, yeah. something to look at is um, there was a, there was a little article that talked about. Um, that in the last 15 years, the city of Memphis has had retention problems with the police department. So they're getting people to, they're like, one, they're having low turnouts for hiring, and two, they're not getting people to stay there. So there was talk of requirements being dropped a little bit mm. to sustain positioned people going into those spots. Now, I mean, not, like, like people with backgrounds, things that have happened. I'm, I don't know the specific, so I, I can't say, well, be like, oh, they're hiring like people with a felony. It looked like yeah. that from the video, but I don't know that. You know, all I'm saying is that if there's a if there's a deviation of standard, like if your standard is, hey, we want to put out this this type of police officer, yeah. and that type of police officer knows how to maintain their shit and not be aggressive in the way when they don't need to be, and blah 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 blah, right? That's the standard, mm -hmm. okay? But if they are like, well, you know, if uh, if 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 Johnny didn't pass his test, but he just missed it, you know, but his test was detainment. Yeah, he's a little aggressive, but you know what? He's gonna get it. He's gonna get it with a little bit of time. You know what I mean? Or it's like, okay, and here's here's another thing that I, I can tell you right now for a fact. I know for a fact LAPD is doing that. They have dropped a lot of their fucking standards because they can't get anyone to do the job. Yeah, but why would you want to in this exactly climate? in this climate like where everybody is just like it's like fuck the police yeah. and all that? I was like defund the police. So and then, I, that's yeah. it. Like I, I'm just trying Absolutely. to back you up what you're saying. Right. No, 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 yeah. I, dude, it definitely happened. I totally agree. And I was like, I don't right. want to throw it. Like I'm not saying that because it's happening everywhere. Yeah. It's not just Memphis. I just what I was what I was kind of. Where I was thinking with that is that is there a correlation with one, are these people from Memphis? Two, do they have any kind of like, let's say, dude, would any of them had gang affiliates growing up? If they're from the inner city and if that's the potential situation that they had growing I'm not saying they did. So believe me, again, coming from someone who has no fucking clue. I'm right. just trying to come up with potentials of why Snares. this kind yeah. of shit happens. Is it is it a potential or is there a a situation where a group of friends Maybe grew up in that type of you know environment, 
have that man type mentality, and then those types of dudes get hired as cops. Yeah. And so now, even though they're on the other side of the badge and they got a gun and they're within legal rights for a lot of things, it's like the fucking movie Training Day, dude. Like, it's yeah. the same shit. Yeah. It's like if you grew up with that kind of background, <laughs> yep. and I'm, and again, this is, this is super shallow of me because I'm making this assumption off of watching <laughs> a couple of dudes get fucking crazy with a guy, but... Again, right? It's like, what what causes that? If there was not one person in that group that looked like they had anywhere with all being like, yo, dude, chill. He's good. Dude, he's fuck. He's not moving. Okay, we're done. We're fucking done. You know what I mean? It was just like, even the guy that was standing back ran up and fucking kicked him in the face. It was like, dude, are you <laughs> Jeez, kidding me? Yeah. Up, dude. Anyway, sorry. I got all fired up. No, you're good. This no, you're good. Man, no. Crazy. Look to end this and close it down so we go to the next one. Um it was wrong. <laughs> Say, we're gonna, it was wrong what yeah. they did. Yeah. Uh, I I a hundred percent will support I support anyone who wants to protest. It's your right in this country. Right. But I don't support peace um unlawful protest. Mm -hmm. I don't think you should burn down buildings, right. damage people's cars, businesses. Cause now you're just the community that's already hurting, you're hurting you're hurting them more. Yeah. You're doing nothing by by mm -hmm. or accomplishing nothing by doing that. So exactly people protest, I, I support it. Go for yeah. it, but peacefully. Uh, Sam? 100%. Yes, sir. Let's, What's uh, next, baby? Let's jump into something a little lighter. Um, so this, <laughs> I know, right, Jordan? This past weekend, uh, we had a lot of sports, um, specifically football. And uh, yeah, we had some uh, some upsets. Not upsets, I would say, but some crazy games. And some shitty oh, referees. Some shitty, oh <laughs> my God. <laughs> I was screaming, dude. I was yeah, like, man. What? Yeah. Yep. What? It was a lot. Yeah. Okay, for, first game. Let's, let's get do it. this. Let's do this. First game. Yep. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I love nicotine. No, first game. Um, <laughs> the first game. I can't remember. The 49ers. Okay. No, 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 no. oh, I'll, I'll take it away. I'll take it away. I'll take it away. First game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ever. Like, I got it. I got it. I got it. Ever. So the first game. Oh Woo. God. So the first. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the first game was the San Francisco 49ers <laughs> and the Philadelphia Eagles. And basically, it's number one versus number two, like the number one defense of. Uh, all of football versus the number two defense of all of football. It was going to be a powerhouse game. And you know what? Going into the game, again, I'm not, so I'm a Steelers fan. So I'm not like, I don't have uh, any, <laughs> like, I don't have any, uh, I don't have like any Throw say. The belt at him. Uh, like, like, you know, hey, I'm just saying, like, it's like, I'm not really, I don't care who wins this game. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But so the uh, but watching this game going into this game, I wanted the like, I wanted the Niners to go all the way because of the story of Brock Purdy, the third mm, string quarterback third string. who was Mister Irrelevant in this year's draft. So yep. he was, and for people that don't know who Mister Irrelevant is, it's the last pick in the draft. So he was quite literally the very last pick in this past year's Wait, draft. Are you serious? Yes, yeah. and so he was the third string quarterback. Of uh, for the San Francisco 49ers, but, but Evan, ironically, that's how it happens though. Like the last, the last, uh, the last, um, the last pit chosen, the last round. Mm -hmm. Like those guys are the ones that come through, and they're like they're like just diamonds in the rough. Tom Brady, they're just, yeah, no, that's yeah. Tom exactly. So right? Tom Brady. Well, so Tom Brady was like uh, drafted in the sixth round, so very very low, very low, uh, very low, but. Again, this would have been better than a, a Brady. Again, I fucking hate Brady. So anytime I could see, damn, thing, yeah, no, no, like, <laughs> damn, <laughs> I know, like that guy, just retire already. Tom, hate Brady. Tom, retire, retire, retire Tom. Tom. Yeah, and He's hey, like, Tom, Brady. if you're listening, we gotta talk. We gotta talk. Cause yeah. uh, trademark that name. Let's go podcast. Is our thing. Yeah, <laughs> and we've been in the books before you. Yeah. So yeah. you got enough money. Fuck bro. you, Tom. Like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you seem cool, but yeah, honestly, no. if, you had, if I had a beer with you, I'd probably be like, "You're a cool guy," but like, still, I feel like sports wise, uh, fuck you. Fuck like, Tom, like, Tom, Tom gets better with age, though. He does. You look at him at his combine to now, he actually like he looks so much better. I know. Dude. Isn't that weird? Yeah, yeah, yeah that like, is weird. It's it's weird, weird though. Yeah. yeah, no, like he looks like a young like. He was kind of out of shape and just kind of... He was gangly. Little, yeah, little and chubby. now he's just like chiseled jaw. Model. Yeah. Absolute model. Is he... Does he do like some weird diet thing? Yeah, he does. Is he a vegan guy? No, no. He's vegan? No, vegan? it's like the anti-inflammation, <laughs> like like certain foods that he eats uh, that like, I, I, I really... Just someone walking behind him with like raw meat, just... <laughs> <laughs> like, here, here we go, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> raw meat. Uh, but... Yeah. but Anyways, uh, so Brock Purdy, you know, so he went on like a seven-game winning streak, and he was uh, 
but basically he was going into the this NFC championship. He basically led the 49ers into an NFC championship game because like since he had started, came in, uh, they've been winning ever since. So with that and everything, I, I wanted him to win. I wanted him to win it all because that would have been a, such a great story of being Mr. Irrelevant to taking that said team all the way and winning the Super Bowl. That would have been an amazing Amazing story, but unfortunately that didn't happen because early on in the game, um, he got his elbow like all messed up uh, from a play that he got nasty. Hit. Yep, it was a nasty hit too, and all. But uh, and that led to an interception, and then basically Philadelphia kind of got the ball rolling, and then like they just pretty much like took it away from there. But are but, we saying, homie? Are we saying though that if Brock Purdy were playing, that the 49ers would have won? No. Hey, no. You suck it. <laughs> I mean, I'm no. just gonna, hey, wait, can wait, I wait, weigh wait, in wait, for wait, a wait, second? Wait, 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 wait. Hey, what wait, I'm saying is, no, it no, might have been no, closer. It would have been closer, but, but well, they went out of one. Well, exactly, hey, no, no, no. Like, listen, no, listen, listen, no way. Wait. No way. Sam, Sam, put the, put the freaking. Yeah, okay. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Put it on me. Put it Sam, on me. hit me with it. <laughs> God, Sam. So, no, so I know that no, no, no. we lost our quarterback. No, ball. hey, listen, listen. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I, no, I, I like, I like Brock, uh, Brock Purdy. I think that you guys should definitely keep him going forward. I think that he's a good fit for you guys. And I was rooting for what him. What do you mean, but you people? San Francisco, <laughs> San Francisco dog. Fan. Wait, who are you talking Francisco. about? Which San Francisco, no, San Francisco, San <laughs> SF stands for so fucked in that game. So. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait Evan, 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 yes. hold up, hold up, bro. What about what Why about are you talking uh, so fast? Jimmy? What about Jimmy? Jimmy what G? about what about Trey Lance, bro? No, what about them? Trey Lance get, isn't back yet. Trey, dude, Trey Lance, like, like a, I'm he's, sorry, he's but bad. Like, uh, yes, Evan, but you sound like is he Samuel not coming back at all? Samuel L. Jackson. You what? sound like Samuel L. Jackson. You're just yelling into the mic right now. I'm so sorry. You're so pumped. I was like, what are you doing? What are you doing, John? What are you doing? Can I? Can I? There's a lot that just happened right now. I agree. Mr. Irrelevant what is a really cool storyline. Right. Right. He had six games he played. He was very functional. Not yes. outstanding, but functional. Yes. What they need. What exactly. they need. Well, the, exactly. they, that offense does well with a mid upper grade quarterback. Yep. You do not need to be the Brady, the Mahomes, the Burrow, that you don't need to be those quarterbacks to kick ass in San Francisco because right. their team is that great. Right. Which is cool. So you know, but again, they lost him. Yeah. And then they lost their backup. Yeah. And then Christian McCaffrey uh, yeah. had to be a, a quarter, quarterback. Yeah. The running back had to be their quarterback. And this was all in like the first quarter. Yeah. So they were, they were a... fucked from the word go instantaneously. <laughs> yeah. However, I think Philly's got one of the best put together teams on, on the field this year. Right. Yeah. Their, yes. Their offense. Complete, bro. Yeah, their, their, their line, I think, was like, I just read something about it. Their line was like number one overall yep. for yep. any team. Yeah. It was like they were the most, even though they, like Jalen Hurts doesn't pass a lot. Yeah. Because they really haven't need to, but they've also had to like. It's a good balance. Like, <laughs> it's a good. It was like oh, I hurts. can't. You know what? I can't roll my eyes far enough in the back of my fucking head Tim, right now with you three. Wait, Tim. Okay? Tim, how long have you been a San Francisco fan? <laughs> Two days, dude. Stop. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> don't. Don't hey, give hey, me that hey, shit. Hey, hey, air bump, air bump. Mm. There we go. All right, All right. you guys got yeah. me. No, guys hey, copy. listen. Like, like we'll cause a cause Scott, cause he I, pulls his shirt down. It's yeah. a nice <laughs> <line>. <laughs> I jump in hard, baby. <laughs> Dude, hey, but a year. I, I've been about a year. Okay, okay, okay. All year. right, so you've been I'll around. Be you've been around since breakfast. I get it. Okay, sit down. All <laughs> okay, right, let the, let the adults talk to us. Dude, but you okay? But you know what? Good team to like. But here's here, I'll yeah, say they, they are a good team. Great. Good legacy. Good legacy. Listen to me here. I, I think it would have been a better game if we still had our first string quarterback. Trey Lance. It would have been a lot more fun. It would have been close. I don't think you guys would have gone as far with. He's talking about. He's talking about Brock Purdy. You would have been okay, right. That you could have played if you played the whole game. Yes. If yeah. Okay. Game. Not okay. not Trey Lance, the yeah. starter of the year. You meant. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, I, I think because you would have rather probably had Jimmy Garoppolo right for that game because he probably would have been. been way better. Yeah, but I, you know what? It's interesting because his injury was from he was throwing. Right? Yeah, and it hit. I always wonder how bad that has to hurt. Oh, when, big time. The motion. Well, just all all this right when they're in full motion and they they full on follow through and their hand hits a helmet, you know, like. Bam! Oh, that, dude! That yeah, or, so, or the wrist or your elbow. Because well, his it, motion, it 
the to- like yeah. peak to get the to get it started. Like as hard as you can throw something. Right. Woo. You know that first motion with like no restriction, and then imagine it was Nagat. It was N- was it Nagama and Sue that got him. No, on this no, first one. Or he did the he did uh, a Johnson. Johnson. Okay. Yeah. So it was uh was it Ritter or R- Ridley? Oh my God, who's the end? Who's our defensive end? That's yeah, n- number seven. Number anyway, seven. Yeah. number seven. He was kicking ass all game. But anyway, this guy is a monster, big, huge yeah. man, humongous. Now you're throwing as hard as you can, and he catches right. you at the most vulnerable position that you could be throwing. Yeah, and all of his weight and everything swinging at your arm that, connects yeah. at the same. Time. That's, a, that's a ten out of ten on the pins. Yeah. My yeah. shoulder would have been like. Rock. I was gonna say, dude, yeah. and then just completely well, gone. stuck out of my arm. Like, yeah. It would have been I'm, out of the skin. Yeah. I'm surprised. That, like, <laughs> you know, dude, I'm surprised it didn't like it didn't affect his shoulder and it was just all in his elbow, which is crazy. Yeah. But even then, okay, so he was injured, right? He was clearly injured. And then when the fourth string quarterback was like out and all that with a concussion, he quite literally just like had to go in there and all that. And like, yeah, basically it's like he was playing injured, but he's like, Yeah, I can't throw. Like basically so like, ran the ball. Yeah. So they just ran the ball the whole time and then they just said, Fuck it. All right, well, Christian I- McCaffrey, you're gonna you're gonna play a quarterback where you just go wildcat yeah. and we'll just kind of hope for the best and unfortunately. I always think about that though, because that four string quarterback came in and I think what what a better time to show and prove what you got. Because he's he's probably making eight hundred thousand the league minimum for him, right? Or yep. something like that. Josh Johnson. He's been in there Dude, for a while. No, he's, he's been, been like, for like I mean he's ten years. Twelve years, years right? Yeah. Like, like ten teams. He's four string, bro. Like yeah, I looked far. it up. He was like eight hundred grand. I looked, I was like, Was he making eight hundred? Yeah, okay. Like oh wow. But you oh, think wow. okay, you go so you've been in the league that long. You should have some knowledge. Some some experience, right? That was his time to shine. Well, that was him. To, he could have freaking. But the thing is, though, it's like you know, being like a third or fourth string yeah. quarterback. Like yep. he's like he doesn't have that. Like, he doesn't have experience like sure. in big games like that. But so, he, of course, he looks like, scared. Let's be real. He looks scared. Of course, yeah. <laughs> like, being you a fourth string, yeah. fucking terrified. If you're fourth <laughs> yeah. up in line, I'm showing up with an espresso machine <laughs> in the back, <laughs> fellas. I got. I it's French vanilla, but it's from <laughs> Colombia. <laughs> You good? You got You want you want another one? I'm doing double shots. Yeah. Right? Like Josh, you're up. I you know, wait, you're wait, the wait, fucking what? backup. <laughs> like you're re- you're reading the same print layouts as the fourth person to have read them. You're the last right. person to weigh in on something. Yeah. <laughs> By the time someone gets to you, no one really gives a fuck probably what you right. said. You're like, "Yeah, dude, they're running a lot of cover too." I told someone. Yeah. I told someone. Yeah. I was like, "Dude, yeah. if I was first in quarterback, I honestly yeah. wouldn't give a crap about anything." No, you wouldn't. No. I wouldn't care if we won or lose cuz yeah. you know what? I'm still making 800,000 a year, yeah, yeah but, but you gotta stay making eight hundred thousand. Right, yeah, that's the problem. Like you, oh. you still have to perform, even though like, so like, what ends up happening a lot of times, like second, third, four, like, well, they'll normally carry three, but if they have to pull someone up from the practice squad to play or to be on the team, like, dude, you're you don't get that game time look. True. And yeah. what what happens every single time? It's super. It, I mean, it's very rare when that just does not occur, <laughs> but it'll look like. Those backups, they're like, they look slower yeah. than normal. And it's because, dude, they're not practicing game time speed. Game right. time speed is like 10 times faster than practice, yeah. than sim games, all that shit. When it's full clip and everyone's moving, yeah, that's why, like, you know, every <laughs> once in a while, dude, someone will start a season hot. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it happens. But most of the time, it's not till like week four, week five, that all of a sudden quarterbacks, Are now they're crushing. Out. They're throwing yeah. for 320-plus a game, couple of touchdowns, no picks. Like, it takes a few weeks. So if you're yeah. like the guy in the fourth quarter in the fucking championship game, they're like... Johnson, we need yeah. you. Yep. And he's, he's like, like, he's like, oh. shit, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can, well, hold on. Can you, can I don't know why you imagine, think he's drinking coffee. Can but. you guys imagine? <laughs> <laughs> can you guys imagine, though, like, when they called him up, like, hey, you're all we got, dude. Yeah. yeah. I would have been like, yo, what? Yeah. <laughs> like, that this is not supposed to happen. Yeah. Like, yeah. To also, take a time out. <laughs> take yeah. A time yeah. Out. yeah, like, I haven't warmed up yet. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I gotta call my mom yeah. first. Yeah. What are you talking about? That's this the first thing I was thinking. This is water. I yeah. sprayed myself on the side to make it look like I was warmed up. So, yo, keep in mind yeah. though, too. Keep in mind that this was in Philly, so yeah. that's a very hard place to play. Dude, that is that is like, old that school crowd, blue collar, dude. Dude, old Philadelphia fans are like they're brutal. Did you see the videos then? Uh, uh, tailgating in the parking lot? Do they grease the light poles because people climb up them and shit <laughs> every crazy. fucking time? Yeah. You see those the, videos? the city does it. Yeah. Like they're like. We got a game this weekend. Like, Fuck, man. We got greasing the pole. He's <laughs> uh, out there with a fucking paintbrush yeah. spray. Yeah. Dude, like, imagine the, you're, the, you're the, the greaser guy making like 100 the, grand a year just to do that. Pole yeah. greaser. Easy, Easy job. Cherry picker, dude. Job, yeah. dude. Pole I fucking greased up the pole, man. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm a pole greaser. That's pole a greaser. Fucking pole greaser, dude. I come from thousand. a long line of pole greasers. <laughs> Hey, I've been like, are you are you fucking with me right now, or like, are you being serious? Like, you is that sexual, or are you talking like it's your job? Well, it's I mean, my job. in San Francisco, they have like a poop battalion. I don't even want to talk. About it. <laughs> what a, it's, a, oh, it's a part of sanitation. It's a your let's wrap well, to, actually, to kind of bring us back a circle for AFC. the championship weekend. Yeah, let's talk about that real quick. Totally, go for it. All right, so <laughs> AFC was the Kansas City Chiefs and the Cincinnati Bengals, and so that was such a good game. Like, excellent, excellent it game. It was so close, and it came back. It came down to the literally the last. Dude, play. can you believe that, yeah, bro? I couldn't when oh I saw God. it. One, his knee went full ostrich stat- status. It went backwards. Oh so my I God! Oh. Oh. oh my God! That yeah, was, I was like, oh yeah, that had to hurt. I was like, oh my I can God. Feel ACL, it. dude. I yeah. can feel it. But then to make that freaking foul at the end dude, was honestly, yeah, stupid. Man. Dude, okay, yep. actually, so yep. at the end of the game and all that, it like it pans to like it's like. Kansas City, Patrick Mahomes, you won. And then pans back to the guy who fucked up, and he's just crying. Oh, he was yeah. he, he was weeping. Dude, oh no, he was okay. So he should okay, be. You know what? Like, but here, <laughs> right? like, yeah, you know what? like this guy it was you. Yeah, <laughs> you did this. So he, get this, though. get this. <laughs> I'm this sorry, kid. but it's true. No, he fucked up. But like the thing was, it was like the it's one of those honest fuck ups. Like T- totally. So and you know what? Like he gets too like he got too much blame for that. That's like my opinion on it. Because like listen, he's going two hundred percent trying to make the play of his life. Absolutely. And like he's going after so they could like get to that like get to the freaking like make sure that he doesn't get that first down, right? Uh and then it's like he just happens to like hit him like just a second too late. You know? Yeah. Oh, dude, there's no. And he was full, just, full, like you said, full clip, full I speed, feel bad for the intense, guy. biggest play of his life, dude, trying yeah. to stop Mahomes, hobble into the outside. Yeah. Now, again, it was his. He's. <laughs> it's, he's this is what you do, man. This 100%. is again, right? If we're talking about accountability and yep. workplace. It, it was your. If fault. This motherfucker yep. goes out of bounds. Do not touch him. Don't yeah. touch him. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's on the line. The world is on the line for you. You're going to the Super Bowl if you fucking stop him. Yeah. No, I mean they would at least tie and got an overtime. But right. hey, and to but to his defense. Number sixty-five right. on the offensive line was holding like a motherfucker oh, yeah. <laughs> on that play for ten. Dude, it was the most blatant hold of the game. Oh, the, the on refs that are play. helping them. The refs are helping. Yeah, them. well, I mean, it's Kansas City, dude. Come on, dude. Kansas City yeah. is right. the anointed team yep. of the NFL. They After, are the new Patriots. They are yep. the new Patriots. New yeah. Patriots, exactly. But I mean, I like Patrick Mahomes though. I hate Brady, but I like <sighs> so. I like him, but, but I don't I like his hate wife. Hates Kansas City, yeah, though, but, dude. I'm not uh, a. I'm not a case. Mahomes' man, little dude. bro's a little punk ass. Yeah, he is. He is, dude. <laughs> yeah. And his girl exactly. runs her mouth too. Which yeah. is, I get it. He's great, but yeah, but it's no, it's annoying. The, yeah. um, <laughs> the what was it? Um, yeah, but it was just kind of funny, just like watching the end of the game, where it's like it's like Patrick Mahomes, like I just wanna, I wanna thank my team. He, I don't know why it sounds like a Texas uh, Kermit. He, he like does. Like he does. Yeah. Sounds like yeah. a Texas. Oh, yeah. like, but like, he's like, I just want to thank so, my team. Um, I just want to say thank you, Mr. Andy Reid, for helping me. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Ring that bell, Good, Jordan. He's like, look who's your daddy now, Joe Burrow. <laughs> Burrow had my ass, and yeah. I like that. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, it would go. It would yeah, go. I was all right. That was good. That was not dude, bad. I've never done that dude. before. That was the first time. I wasn't like, bad. That was oh, good. All right. Oh my it's god. It's not quite. No, but Kermit no, the frog, it's good enough. It's good enough. It's good enough. Do it. First like, time. You know, it would go from like you know seeing Patrick Mahomes, and then it would be like it pan to the guy crying on the bench, yeah. and like alone on the bench, and oh, then yeah, it goes to something else, and then you see the guy crying, but then you see one of the kids like, "Hey, bud, Evan, you're yelling again." I'm sorry. Everybody's, everybody's yelling. All right, they're all hyped up. It was a fun. It's a fun topic. But no, but yeah. Uh, oh. No, but dude, I it is guys, it was crazy guys, at the end of the you game. You guys are dude. killing me. Oh, that, dude. You guys are fucking killing me. Kermit, it's hilarious. Kermit, uh, yeah. <laughs> this is Patrick Mahomes. I'm no, just uh, we had a great right, time. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for. Uh, I just want to thank my team. I just want to thank the ref for not calling the holding play. Uh, it really allowed. <laughs> yeah. I'm no, gonna get you, uh, so you a Kansas City jersey now. Oh, just dude. For that. No, and look, I like Patrick Mahomes. I, I, I think he's he is. Uh, if he's not number one, he's fucking right at number one point. Five. What? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like they're like he'll be hand in hand with the top so slot. You, you yeah. like for a long Patrick time. Mahomes? Yeah. yeah. Why is that, Jordan? Is it because he's half black? <laughs> yeah. no, what? He's awesome. <laughs> Actually, no. It's because he's a fantastic football player. 
you piece I think he seems like a cool guy. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Tim. Oh, no, just, but, hey, that, well, no, Tim. You know what, Tim? Let me rephrase. Yes. 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 <laughs> I only like well, half black That's it. Yeah. Well, Tim. <laughs> well, Tim. And it's between him and Russell Wilson, I think. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's the pretty. Well, those are all my only football yeah. players. Well, well, Tim. Yeah. Tim, actually. And it's not going to be Russell Wilson. It's probably not Russell Wilson. No, definitely not. Sam, Sam, if you put the camera on Tim, and Tim, if you go to side profile. Yeah. Go to side profile for me. Why? Go because. to side profile. Why? What? Because you have the same haircut on, as Patrick McCombs. Ah. <laughs> no way. Oh, shit. Yours is way better. Yeah. Wow. His Look at is that. like, ah. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that sexy ah. man. Yeah. It's like, what's wow. happening? Oh my god! It's like you're that Patrick is new. Holmes. I, I, I did. Okay, you that. did Patrick. That's Holmes. not a bad haircut. I, look, I like it, dude. It's it's kinda, it looks good. It's good. Like I did a bird. I, did, I said do a burst fade, but kind of semi mohawk. Mm, that's a okay. that's a Patrick Mahomes right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's dude. No, it's a little good. more, a little Patrick crazier. Patrick Mahomes but, yeah. is like a little crazier. Like his hair is fucking. Well, yeah, literally has a mohawk. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot. It's a baby yeah. one. But it's like, like it, like. But it does look cool with a headband. Straight up. So, right. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> to, to bring this, uh, talking about a championship weekend of football, Evan, what are the teams going to the Super Bowl? So the, it's going to be the Kelsey Bowl because the Kelsey brothers are playing against each other, meaning that it's the Philadelphia Eagles mm -hmm. versus the Kansas City Chiefs. Oh. That's crazy. Wait, okay, real wait. quick. I have a question. Who's Evan, gonna you're going to start it off. All right. Who do you think is going to win? You know what? I think the Eagles are going to pull out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think the Eagles. George? Yeah. Same. I'm yeah. Eagles? Eagles all the way. Oh, shit. I'm, I'm big Eagles fan. too, boy. Hey. I'm saying I'm, I'm, I'm Eagles. Like, hey, like, again, like, I would hope for Patrick to win another Super Bowl, and I like Andy Reid, but I don't ah, think, I don't think that the Eagles, I, I think that the Eagles are just too good and balanced. And the defense, the Eagles' defense is way better than anything that the Kansas City Chiefs have ever come up against this year. And I think that it's like the best defense, or the, it's like the second best defense versus the best offense, but that second best defense is still like crazy good. Yeah. So it's like, and the thing is defense wins championships. And I think that like Kansas City's defense has gotten better, but I don't think it's going to be good enough to stop the well-balanced uh, Eagles offense. Hell yeah. So. Sam. So, you know, it's funny, man. The, the, the Chiefs have been like crawling. You know, they're like, oh, we're, we're still in it. We're still in it. And then they get hit. They're like, oh, and then they win. You know, yeah. so they've been like just yes. scraping by. So I would think first Eagles. But the, the, watch. I, watch I, the Chiefs win. Right. Watch the Chiefs win, right. bro. Who, watch okay, them win. Let me ask this question then. Mm. Who would win between a fight between a Chief and an eagle. <laughs> <laughs> and what are we talking when we say chief here? Yeah. Right. Oh, that's, exactly. hey, that's chief. a real question. Yeah. Hey, chief. chief. Are we talking about something like, like fucking office guy by the water cooler? Hey, chief. Hey, chief. Are we talking like, oh, I don't know. God, That's a good question, though. Yeah. I mean, they both have their own, uh, own that's how I make strengths, a lot, you know? That's how I make a lot of uh, bets. I'm like, what mascot well, would beat all, the hey, other one? Look, all I'm I saying say, the chief would win because he'd shoot the eagle out of the sky. True. I'll have to say on this topic, go eagles. I think eagles, go eagles. eagles are going to win. Last thing. Sam, what's we'll our last thing we're talking about? All right, last topic. We are going to jump to uh, Jordan Peterson um, controversy. Um, he's He's been doing a lot of stuff, and Canada is... Speaking of Canada, guys, I'm going to Canada this oh, weekend, actually. Son, you hey, yeah, it's, it's kind of random. Nice. Yeah, I have family there. Going to really? Canada, eh? Yeah. Where, where yeah. in Canada? Uh, Calgary. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Right so kind of random. But yeah, uh, I just I said the word Canada. I was like, oh, yeah, I'll be there. Damn, I'm actually going to be you there. You better. Put well, as our Canada oh, specialist. Yeah, right, dude. You see the, right? up, you see the weather, Tim? Oh, dude, it's bad over there. Yeah, it's like negative. Hey, breeze. am I in your guys' headphones? No. Oh, yeah. Whoa. I thought you were going to say, are you oh, in the light? God, don't do <laughs> no. I was like, we got to do this you. all over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, you're good. You're good. <laughs> don't even start me, Jordan. God, I, I drank too much beer. Tonight, guys. <laughs> great right now. Yeah, man. Canada. But yeah, hell yeah. Uh, Jordan Peterson, Canada. just taking that away. Get it? Oh, sh uh, sure. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. No. Um, so the <laughs> the news little segment of Jordan Peterson was that he has been, you know, he's always in the social media presence, big on Twitter. He's got like twenty million followers. Uh, he is a psychologist, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, professional by by trade. Clinical. But he's also yeah, like he, he's clinical a clinician. Yeah. yeah, like a super, and if anyone's ever listened to him, he's a very, very smart guy, and he sounds really good talking. Yes. Uh, but either he's way. He's also a professor in, 
he was also a professor of like uh, the University of Toronto, and he taught at Harvard before that. Yes. Um, and then again, he's a public speaker. He's an author. He's written a couple of books. I've read the Twelve Rules for Life. And Have you read it. the one before that oh. though? Oh no, the Maps of Maps Meaning. Maps of Meaning. No, bro. is it good? A book. It, well, of course, it's like a textbook. So I haven't, right. I haven't finished it. Yeah. But, well, that's his. Te- that was his textbook that he would teach at like Harvard and the. Uh, oh wow! Right. Okay. So yeah. it's basically about like the origins of like us of yes. everything yeah. like where has everything come from and how have we gotten here like wow. what what the process is like anyways yeah, yeah. that's what it's about go ahead yeah uh, no i mean just so i'm a highly educated individual yeah. very, very popular in the uh social media forum not for his views aligned with uh narrative let's put it that way right he's kind of a, a large name that bucks the system a little bit yeah and which again you know like it or don't like it either way it's personal opinion and has a large following from it right yeah so all of that has led into this kind of controversial situation that he's in as far as he is being sued by like he was describing it on uh the last episode he did with Joe Rogan where it was basically like there's 13 lawsuits against him and, and that of them are like false too well yeah because they're all they're all being claimed that they're they were patients of his as a psychologist right but they're not they're not even like a third party to information that he said it's basically people trying to sue him for stuff he's written about on Twitter right you know or in the public forum right and again if you follow him you, you probably heard things that he talks about because again it's I would say it's counter narrative of what you hear on multimedia or exactly, events, and especially uh, like with uh, with Canada's like uh like kind of like hit like Canada's media and like also just like kind of being you know critical of like Trudeau and all, which is like that's totally okay. Like that's part of like that is like I well I mean I guess like having an opinion. What having an opinion? Yeah, exactly. Right, yeah, yeah. So right, and it was you know, and it's uh, and so that's kind of where the the this uh, the popularity of this subject came from. Bless you, twice. Thank you. And bless you, uh, bless you too. Thanks, guys. Uh, anyway, so it was just it was interesting hearing him talk about it because it was just kind of like, wow, that's so nuts. Because to to just have a platform and talk about it, not in a way of set like he was. There's no advocation for violence. There's none of this kind of stuff where you'd like, well, what did he say? Right. It was just like I have an opinion about a, a topic where like climate change is a big one. Right. Right. Where it's like, if you mentions anything like that's counter narrative to climate change, it's like he gets shut down. But anyway, where this is getting into a bigger deal is, is that his licensing in Canada was suspended. Right. And now in order to him to get licensed again, they have to do like this remedial training on like social media interactions. Basically like, and his claim is like, dude, you can't just make shit up on the fly and say that that's the new rule that in which you can, right. you know, be yeah. a licensed psychologist or a clinical practitioner, whatever, whatever it is his licensing is. And now we have to abide by this. That's bullshit. And based on what? And so the argument is him going back and forth, right? Of being like, you know, it's like, okay, if this is it, then prove it to me. But they don't right. have that. The proving it part is not that. Yeah. It's just, just making a, making it up as they go, just so that they could, like, it, just because they don't like him because of what he's said of like, again, like having his personal opinions out there, which again, it's like, you can either agree or disagree with him. And like, again, like sometimes he does say some, like some wild shit, but like, again, it's not like so wild that it's like, it should be like, like your license should be suspended. So, I mean, I don't personally, I, like what, what constitute is like, I, getting your shit taken. Right. Yeah, exactly. It's like if you, if you can say like, let's pick, you know, he got in some shit because he was kind of ripping on that Greta Thunberg. Oh shit. yeah. Yeah. You know, and he was basically saying that, like, you know, she has, she is the way she is because of her, like, family coddling, influence basically. and coddling. Yeah. And that instead of, like, you know, her, like, the basically, like, just the the protest was, like, she was, he was ripping on the parents, I think, at one point. Right. Of basically saying, like, instead of educating your daughter to be able to, like, have the argument of what the pros and cons of climate change are, you're supporting just the action of protest. Yeah. And that you are just the face of this. And, like, that that's... That's not smart, right? You know, essentially, and uh, and that's just like one thing. There's like a, there's a there's a bunch there's of a, shit. And he's gone after Trudeau, like he yeah. said, said some things. Just like, what are you doing? But he's like that guy in the corner, just calling people out. 
like almost inviting like a conversation. And they're afraid. Because he'll, but he'll destroy you in a conversation. Yeah. That's the thing. Is like right. He breaks shit yep. down to the premise of why you even do something because of this, and it's backed by all these different researchers over tens of twenties of years of you know clinical Dude, research. He's a clinical psychologist. Like, of course, like that's like part of like he's like he knows exactly how to like kind of like break things down because like that's literally his job. And everything it's like and it's help to help other people kind of break things down for themselves so they they can ultimately get better and move on with their lives. That's ultimately why he got into the profession in the first place. And I think like beyond like the clinical psychology uh, perspective, he also like that book and like the people that he's um just famous for uh for 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 reading and for like writing forwards for like their books are those people are the ones that came up with why consciousness is what it is oh wow. you know so yeah it's like well yeah he's a clinical psychologist on top of the fact that he's like well you know what i think this is where like we come up with um why the like why the earth is in a circle and why galaxies are shaped like this yeah. you know and and why creation is even a thing and why there is a creator if there's cre you know so like yeah. like the, he has that you know frame of thinking and then it's like you pair that on top of a clinical psychologist it's like you're not going to talk to him like no. there's no conversation you're going to sound here. dumb no matter what comes out of your mouth <laughs> right dude yeah because yeah. yeah. he'll phrase things just like like i was trying to cause i was just listening to it yesterday and there was just a segment of it when he was talking about um, he was kind of he was kind of dissing the climate change stuff oh in, God, in yeah. a way of saying like he go you know for the amount of money and effort and everything that we put into like fixing one problem or like let's say I think it's it not yeah coal carbon carbon dioxide or carbon right. dioxide right he was just like it's just goes, not one problem bucko yeah and he goes <laughs> you know, this will get your butt boiling you know yeah. but like it's the fact that there's like. 30 things that are the, are the problem when, yeah. and he was quoting another, it was, I don't know if it was a philosopher or a scientist or whatever it was. Right. And he was saying how that he kind of adheres a little bit to that. The that, Socratic method of, with Socrates and everything. Right? Well, right. No, this was, he was talking about how like what we should be doing is the first thing that we should do is have poor people make money. Oh yeah, like and raising like, up, raising ra up the the uh, social economic across the board needs to take a step forward because you he's like by doing that now you give people the ability to have worth and then instead of you know the day by day scraping by not giving a fuck about anything yeah. around you other than to survive that now you start thinking into the future whether yeah, that's right. five years ten years and now you're looking around and you start focusing more on the things around you so therefore maybe you don't litter as much because you know you're going to be here in ten years from now or you're doing this so like this impact of being able to lift the lower class up and like getting everyone the ability to have money or make money or whatever that looks like will in turn have everyone take a care of their surroundings which would then clean up the planet right it changes you know what I mean? our yeah and it was like but the way he explained it was like i was listening to it i, I re-listened to that section because i was like damn dude yeah you, you actually you really exp you explained that really well you guys got me all messed up you explained that really well <laughs> oh damn. i'm like i it was n as none of talking, my it's like a shotgun blast i'm like dang what? oh sorry what was it, that? it was not for me at all no, that was i'm good. paraphrasing that was something really that sounded good. way better i guarantee no, really yeah. no he, he said that it, like, yeah yeah he yeah. said it on different podcasts where like it changes your value structure. Yeah, you know? like you you have you have new things that you are now thinking about. You know, instead of like how am I going to live? You know, you now think about okay, like what kind of boots am I going to wear to this job interview that I have? Or what right. kind of nice shoes am I going to get? And yeah. then uh, depending on the job interview, am I going to wear a tie? You know, like right. You have different things that you're now worrying about because your base level needs are now you know taken care of. You know, oh, I have food for tomorrow. Okay, I can take lunch. You know, or I have money to buy. You know, like you're you're not worrying about like right now so you're not stealing right. or you're not killing somebody right. or you know you're not doing those types yeah, of things you have more your long-term perspective not right tomorrow Changes. not 10 minutes from now not a half hour from now you're thinking uh, what this area is gonna be like hey where i can i might be here in five years right now. Yeah. what am i doing tomorrow because i don't know what the fuck i'm gonna do today you yeah. know what i mean right. you're not you're not scorching the earth and, because like you want to like you're like, you're like oh actually i kind of want to keep this around because i'm going to be here longer than oh, what yeah. i expected to be yep totally yep yeah right and, and that will have a direct impact on the climate the environment the cleanliness all that shit right so it's like and i was like man that's crazy and then like later 
He there was another there was oh man where was it going with that damn it anyway it was it was a good it was a good segment and I think oh no the the relation was is that why when we talk about things politically that the only thing that gets brought up is the negative and he was using climate change specifically it's like everything's like we got to stop this because if not we're not going to have a country in uh, fifty years or twenty uh, probably like eight years I'm sure to some models right but. It's like we never credit the things that we do that are good. It's always the push that things are bad. And while he was talking about that, I was like, in my head, I'm thinking, I was like, well, no shit. Like, right. because how are you going to be able to push legislation without it being a scary thing? Right. How is it that you're not going to be able to, because I guarantee you, and like, conspiracy or not, them, those motherfuckers make money. Yeah. Then they all yeah. are in bed with everybody. I, oh, yeah. Prove me wrong. Please. Yeah. Please prove me, prove me wrong. But so when that happens... It's like, well, yeah, no kidding. It's how the wheel turns. It's been doing the same shit for a long time in this country as far as politics and being in bed with other shit. And what easier way to do it than scare the fuck out of people to be able to push that legislation? He were like, well, we did the pandemic. We got this other stuff. And it's like, how are we going to... Climate. Right. We're going to all die in like 20 years. Then it'll be 15. Then it'll go back up to 18. And then might drop to eight. Eight years. And that's when they're going to do the shit with the electric stuff. With, yeah. You know, they're already talking about electric stoves, all this bullshit, no gas thing in California, all that stuff. Yeah. I was like, but then as soon as we get close to eight, we'll be two years out. And they'll be like, they'll push it back eight more years. <laughs> mm -hmm. They're yeah. going to get paid, dude. Yep. That's what's up. Yeah. So that's why when all these talks are like, why don't we do this? Why don't we do that? I'm like, it's simple. It's actually way simpler than you think. The reason is because the influential is money and fucking power. Yeah. And until we get that shit adjusted at the top levels, which we may never see in our lifetime, right. but until that it can actually be balanced, we're always going to be in this position. It's going to be exploitation of anything that's negative, whether it has to do with environment, whether it has to do with culture, whether it has to do with what fucking whatever. Right. It's going to be negative because you got to have half the group scared. You got to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the only way you get anything changed. How yeah, fucking man. hey, dude? That's, yeah. that's just, yeah. I mean, that's like politics. So it's like when he gets one on all, one. So when he was talking and philosophical and all this stuff, because I'm thinking, I'm like, fuck, dude, you're absolutely right. That's so, you know, what a great way to say that. And then in the back of my mind, we're like, dude, you know the answer. The answer is because it's not going to be popular and you're not going to get shit done on the will of be like, hey, you know what? We're actually not doing that bad. So we're just going to tweak a little thing. Not, right. we got to change everyone. Right. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I and then know, also, I think it was like with the whole entire Greta uh, thing, it's like as far as like, um, like, oh, I'm scared. And, all, and it's like validate the, oh, like, yeah, be scared. You're a victim, victim mentality. And like, are like oh, the world's uh, going to die. Like, we're all going to die. Like, if we don't do anything right now. Uh, and quite literally, it's just like, no, you have to teach your kids. It's like, there's always the possibility that we're, there may not be a tomorrow or like, yeah, but it's like, but you can also enjoy what you have today and all that, and that maybe it's actually not as bad as you think. And that way, like, if you do want to make the change, it's not as like, or it's much more complicated that you're making it, but like, we can also work on the small things that we can do. It's not just about the blanket statement of like eliminating carbon and everything. It's like, no, there's a lot of different avenues and everything, but it's like, it's a complicated topic that you, it's like, but at the end of the day, it's like, you still go out and you still live your life and all that. And like, yeah, there are these concerns, but you don't like just like lock yourself up in your room because, oh my God, the, the world's going to die tomorrow because of us. And all. it's like, maybe just go and live your life. Everyone's going right, to be eating right. bugs before the world ends. So right. <laughs> don't, don't, don't everyone it's trip. So it's going to be, it's going to be all right. Well, there's one thing that I want to hit on real quick before we end here with this is it also shows you the importance of free speech mm -hmm. and how good we have it in the U.S. Right. Yeah. And also, like, the power the government has in other countries to take people's livelihood away. You're taking yeah. someone's license away means they can't work? How do you like that? Great. <laughs> Isn't that good shit? Yeah. Yeah, right. I love that. Sorry, I'm sorry. No, you're good. You're <laughs> Actually, good. yeah. A little vodka, dude. Oh, I was going to say, that's a... Yeah, a little vodka, that thing's popping, dude. So, But uh, that's what I... Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, <laughs> we were talking on a side note. Climate um, change. Go. Yeah, for the government to be able to come in, <laughs> to come in and take his license like that, that... To me, that's a huge overreach. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, and I, I like, you know what? It's like, it's, it is scary that that's like happening just like above, like our next door neighbors, Canada, because again, it's like, you know, we think it's like, oh, Canada and US, like we're different because we are, but at the same time, we're still very similar. It's like, if that can happen in Canada, like what makes you think that it could, it won't happen here? Well, look what so. they did with COVID, dude. Yeah. They were heavily locked down in that country. Oh, they, big The time. restrictions and stuff. I mean, we were bitching about it here, but they had a lot of like actual enforcement. 
yeah. of it. There, oh, yeah. You know, so it's like to think that they're going to do that like on the college level to be able or the, the professional level of if it's a, you know, a process through the country, state, province, what I don't, I don't know how the system works there. Right. But it's not unreasonable to think that they're going to be able to have that overreach and they're going to get buy off on it. Right. Because right. if the rest of the group is like, well, we're going to come up with the, the, you know, the rules to this and how you can interact on social media and still maintain as a professional. Right. I don't think that that's unreasonable to think they're going to try. This is the crazy part is that they're doing it. Right. You know what I mean? Because like, like, like he was even saying on the thing, it's like, okay, well show me where your team of experts was educated yeah. on this. It's because they weren't. There's exactly. no, there, there, and then what's the demon expert? It'd be like, well, I like to, Whatever, do something. You'd be like, oh, did you do it for like 20 minutes? They're like, yep, well, you're our expert. Exactly. You know, we do it as a joke in most things. They're like, well, who knows any of this? You're like, all right, you're our dude, you know? But it's like, that's kind of what they did. And now they're they're putting someone's like profession on the line for it. Exactly. Which is pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, 100%. I like Jordan Peterson. I, I, do, I think he's I don't agree with him on everything. I just want to exactly. make that clear. But yeah. I, he's, he's an interesting cat no, for sure. I, there's a lot I like about him. Like, there's a lot of things that you can learn from. Him. Honestly, like, I think that the his thing of being like, you know, you got to be a monster, but being able to control that tendency and all that. Basically, you want to be competent. Like, he's like, you want to be dangerous. And how do you be dangerous? Is like, you got to write, you got to learn, you got to form an opinion and like be competent. And he basically, like, the thing is, I think that like, what he brings to the table, especially for a lot of like young men, but more just young people in general, men and women, is just being more competent in yourself. And, all, and that's how you become more dangerous uh, because, like, you kind of like almost like a Teddy Roosevelt uh, quote. It's like, Speak softly, but carry a big stick and all. So, yeah. yeah, I got a big stick. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I was like, enter dick joke here. <laughs> yeah. Insert. We were all the same thing. I was uh, like, should I, say it? should I say it? <laughs> yeah, you say it. Yeah, the it's Sam close. Just unloads it. On my car. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's a good quote, nonetheless. <laughs> <laughs> I live by that quote. Well, we're just big kids. I just speak oh, softly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, guys, thank stick. you so much Sam. for coming back on the podcast. The month off, we got a new studio going. We got the Sam Cam. Um, I'm excited. Thanks for being here tonight. Uh, we're rock and roll. And we're back. And this is going to be good. Yeah, yeah man. Buddy. Excited. Uh, dude, it's going to be really let's good. Let's get it. So pumped. Yeah. I'm glad. I mean, just, you know, the process of it and seeing the finished product. Dude, thank you for all the hard work. I know yeah. this shit oh, wasn't yeah. easy for sure. Yes. Oh, thank yeah. you. And, thank you uh, I was so psyched to see you guys. And, uh, you know, first one back in the books for 2023, baby. <laughs> yeah. There we go. I was nervous. Yeah. Dude, seriously. Yeah. And I was I like, I want to much. rant about this fucking hack on Instagram. But <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Oh, my God. You got me. You got me. Straight up. I, uh, I definitely had bullshit. too many beers before we started. <laughs> Denver, dude. You sound great. Yeah, I hope sound so. awesome, go back man. to episode four. <laughs> you know what? You yeah, know what? I'll we're tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> we were slurring our words on some of I know. We we I learned. We learned. It was fun. It was it was fun. Absolutely. It's a journey. It's my truth. <laughs> Oh man, white girl shit. Dude. Speak your truth, Tim. Speak your truth. <laughs> my truth. This is my journey. <laughs> Spe- Whatever, speak it dude. into like, So if it's your truth, then it's it's not real for the rest of us. I, I don't know, that man. Seems, okay. Just live, love, laugh. I his would truth is that his truth. <laughs> his truth is hey, his man. truth, Jordan. What about seeing that live, love, laugh? I can't stand that in people's homes. Do you do you have that in your house? Live, laugh, and love. <laughs> is it live, love, laugh? I don't know. I don't have it. In it's my like house. three quotes you see. It yeah, most yeah. it's like every basic yeah. white girl's. Like, yeah. <laughs> live, laugh, and love. Yeah. We're like. There's a lot more shit that goes down in the household. Yeah. I was like, otherwise, it'd be like a 40 fucking word thing. It'd be a live, laugh, crazy fight, yell, scream, piss, walk away, come Fuck. back. Be yeah, happy. I, mean, I was like, when's he going to say it? I was trying to keep it. Yeah. I was trying to keep it oh, professional. So good. But yeah, that's on there for I sure. Mean, like, and I would like, like that one to be in like the first three or four. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Fuck, Boy. fuck, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Would that be hyphenated or is that two separate sections on the list? Oh my God. Well, guys, again, thanks for coming. Let's get it going. Let's go on three. You guys ready? Yeah. Let's get one it. 2023. One, two, three. Let's, Let's go. go. Bye, everybody. Thank you so much for listening in. If you liked what you just listened to, please leave us a five-star review on Apple Podcasts and on Spotify. Please follow us on YouTube, on Instagram, and on Facebook. And a big shout-out to Stephen Clark, our sound editor. He's a huge part of this team that is unseen. It's 8-9 Barbers, our first sponsor. Look good, feel good, be great. 
That's two locations, Orange, California and Long Beach, California. Book your appointment online, 89barbers.com. Bye, everybody.